Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. And I have an exciting unboxing for you today. So I have an unboxing from Carrot.Art. This is a, a brand new painting that releases today. So I will pop a link to the website down below so that you can go and grab yourself one. Now this did come shrink wrapped, the box. Um, however, I think Megan got a little bit too excited and wanted to have a look. So she has taken the shrink wrapping off. But we have the standard box with details of details of you know, the diamonds and key parts, and then some instructions as well. But there's a few new releases, by the way, and this is the one that we chose. In fact, Megan chose it. But this one, oh, I have stuff falling out. This one is called Sun and Moon by Femke Deborah. I think I pronounced that right. Apologies if I have not. And this one is a round. Oh, wow. This has 72 colours. 72. That's amazing. It actually also includes eight AB diamonds. So we'll have a proper look at the colours in a minute. But we have eight AB diamonds. It is a... Okay, it's a 50 by 70. I was trying to find the size. Because this isn't yet available on the website, as I'm filming this, ready for the day that it is. So it is now. But as I'm unboxing this, um, it is not on the website. So I'm having to pull all the information off the canvas. But that is the full image. If you tilt your head to the side, it is absolutely gorgeous though. I can't believe it's got 72 different colours in it. I mean, I can and I can't. It's a big image. Um, there is some block work, but it does scatter in to quite a few different colours. So this background, all of this background, in fact, has, while it has some blocks of colour, it also has some shade. We, of course, have the sun and the moon. 72 colours. Amazing. I don't have a case for 72 colours. That's fine. We can do two. Um, so, in with the toolkit. Oh, look at this. Amazing stickers. We do get stickers. So, that is the full image, Sun and the Moon, 50 by 70. And we get the peel-off stickers that have the number. They are peel-off. I'm just trying to get hold of one. Uh, that have the number, the symbol, and the DMC. So, in this case... It is 3766AB. Try and get that to go back in because if I don't get it to go back in, it's going to get stuck to something. And then I will be upset when it comes to kitting it up. Uh, but yeah, 3766AB. All these are ABs. So 65 to 72 are all ABs. Some of them do double over. In fact, quite a few of them do. So 444, we have in a standard and in an AB. And they are sort of scattered within the standard. Uh, I've just had a look. So that symbol is, so the squiggle, the little squiggle one is the standard 444. And then the X is the 444 AB. So if you can see down this side, we have a mixture of the two, which means you get that little bit of sparkle, but you don't get too much. It's not too intense, but you definitely get the sparkle. Uh, 742 is also in both, though 743 is just an AB. 819 is in both. 3078 is just an AB, so it's a nice mixture. 
3766 is both, 3841 is both, and 5200 is both. But ABs do have a different look, of course, than the actual diamond on its own. Um, we do also get in here some washi tape which is great for going around the edges if you have a slight overhanging of glue, or it can be used to divide up your painting. If you don't like to use cover sheets, you can section it off according to the clear cover. So you get a nice chunk that looks like about five meters in there. A decent, a decent amount of washi tape anyway. It will definitely do you for this painting and I've probably unraveled far too much of it um, to be able to get it back on the roll but yeah it's nice to get washi tape what you will notice is that there is not a tool kit with this so what carrot art have um, changed in relation to their production with the new with the new artists so their artist motifs are now sent without a toolkit. Um, the vast majority of the customers who buy an artist diamond painting from them um, are already experienced diamond painters that don't need further toolkits. So quite often, if you are new to diamond painting, you tend to purchase some, you know, some that normally aren't licensed or um, a free images to use you know maybe you try it with a cheaper canvas rather than the quality 50 by 70 once you know you like it then you tend to go for quality um, so they do say they include if they included them um, hang on yeah because the box is shrink wrapped so basically, because this box was shrink wrapped before to keep it dry, no matter when it's posted, it's not then possible for them to remove the toolkit before shipping. So what they've done is they've decided to reduce the price of the kits according to the toolkit. Um, so you're not paying for the toolkit, you're not getting a toolkit. However, they are offering toolkits on their own if you want to purchase one to go with your painting which I like that option whenever um, I order from companies if they have a choice of including the toolkit or not I always say no um, because I do have my trays my pens and I will use them anyway the only time I've ever said yes to a toolkit is if it's a brand new company and I just want to see what their toolkit's like and that's for the purposes of this video not for the purpose of me using it um, so yeah, it does tell you in the description for each painting whether it comes with or without a toolkit, why they transition over. So you can have a look if you're after ordering more than one, do check, you may find that one comes with a toolkit and you can use it for another one. Um, it all is in the article, it also tells you of course the drill shape, the size, how many diamonds and ABs. Um, which I've just found off the canvas but let's have a look at these diamonds so they're in baggies <gasps> look at some of those ABs sorry those AB colour choices are gorgeous I'm not going to take every single bag out of here because I think you can see the nice array of colours but I am taking out the ABs so we have quite a bit of 5200 which is the white absolutely gorgeous look at that 3841 in an AB that's gorgeous right where do we have did we have 3841 normally we did what number is it 59 so it's down here somewhere that's 50 here it is, 59. So can you see, they're the same DMC colour, but one has an AB coating and one doesn't. So while they go amazingly together, they don't look the same because you've got that extra sparkle. And I'm trying to tip it so that my light picks it up at different angles. Um, it does look 
they look more different when they're on the canvas. The reason I'm saying that is the drills in here that are upside down, all you see is this colour. Um, the sparkle is just over the top part of the diamond. Oh, that blue is gorgeous as well. <laughs> What's that one? That's 3766. Absolutely love that one. Is that this one? 51? It is. So can you see there? They're both 3766. You can probably see the difference a bit more then. You can quite often see the difference um, the darker the diamonds are, but there's definitely a different look to those two. Other ABs, lovely yellow. 819, which is your pale pink. Oh, that's beautiful. We have some yellow in 743. 742 for your orange and your 444 AB. So beautiful ABs. I think I've got them all. Yes, I have. I have. So I'm going to try and clump these together so that I can still get hold of them and show you all a little bit closer. Hopefully you'll be able to catch the sparkle. But they're all the ABs. And they are, of course, scattered throughout the painting. Uh, so we have some of this blue, this blue, um, scattered down here in the sort of where it fades from one to another. It's scattered in with um, yeah, in with the 3766, the normal 3766, it's scattered in with that. So you've got that little transition. Um, so yeah, they use that throughout. But believe me, they are scattered all the way through. Uh, we do get a couple of bags of 5200 in with this. I'm trying to think where is the five? Oh, there's quite a bit in her dress down here. Also, there is quite a lot, and I don't mean big chunks of it, I just mean there's quite a few scatterings of it here. Scatterings here, scatterings up in her hair, and then there is, that's where the most of it goes, actually. Found where most of that symbol is, is up here. So you've got the radiation of the sun. That is actually mixed in with the 5200 AB. So while this is all a white, there is a scattering of AB dotted all the way through it. And it's the same with the moon. You've got chunks of it, but then the outline is pretty much ABs around the outside of the moon, but then there is scatterings inside the moon that are also ABs, which frankly is gonna look amazing. Uh, 939 is the darker color, which is where you will have quite a bit of your sky. Quite a bit of this is chunky in 939, but then as you go further down, down here, this is when it starts merging in a couple of different colours of blues so you get that nice gradient. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't know whether Megan can do it now. I'm kind of liking do it, the idea of doing one with 72 different colours and that many ABs. Maybe it will become one that is a little bit between us. But yeah, gorgeous painting, gorgeous amount of colours, and I'm really liking the placement of ABs. So having a look at the symbols, I say for the white, it is scattered in all these chunks of white. It is the scattering for the stars in the sky. Um, it's all, it frames the moon and is scattered in between, and it's scattered all over here as well. So you're gonna get that extra definition of sparkle. Um, the, this color, but in an AB. So we've done the white AB. 
I'm just trying to point out where the ABs are because I do think the ABs make a big difference. So, pale blue, AB. Let's see where I can see them. And this is just, um, oh, I'm having a look. There are some over here. So there are some scattered in a hair along with some of the white. There is some up here in a hair. Is the some over this side? This doesn't help. I've got it um, round. Let me do it this way so I can actually see the symbols. Yes, so there is a little bit scattered around here in this join. So you've got the sparkle. There was another colour that was a bit further down. Uh, so you've got some scattered here. You've got some scattered up here as well. And when I say scattered, it's like every third diamond, but not exactly every third. It's not a row. It's just, they're just dotted about within the seam from one colour to another. So you've got a lot of that one. What have we got next? 444. Four, four. So this is the X. So this is the one that I advised is mixed in here with the similar colour. It's also on the little neck part there's some there and it's also on the rays of sunshine that's mixed in on all of them so we're on the x aren't we so yeah it's mainly there there will be other places 819 is the letter g so i can see quite a bit of that mixed in on the moon's dress uh, there's some more here mixed in, scattered in with the white ABs. It's a little bit around the face. Quite a few little bits of detail in the face. Oh, we've actually got white ABs for the eyes as well. They're the main places. They're the main, I can see off the top of my head anyway. 3078. So we've got a T, so that is quite a bit down here. It's quite a bit of this in this little bottom seams of the dress. There's a little bit here in the fold of the dress. Yeah. Nothing else is jumping out at me, but no doubt with this many symbols, they will be somewhere else. Uh, three, seven, double, six. I say I did mention there was quite a few in this little fading part. The other one was more up here. This one's more down here. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, letter B. There is also some up the top here and some down this part here. Has also got some of the B. And actually, there's a lot of the B within these little star parts within the sky. It's, it's got the white as the main, but then there's a little scattering of the, the B along with some other shades of blue and grey to make those stars look more like stars. Uh, there's also some of it within the moon, within the shading around the moon. And again, the stars down here. 742 is the circle with the plus sign in the middle. So this is more the top part of the dress, so the more orangey part up here the scatterings of ABs, more in sort of the neckline but the darker parts of it and then we've got the lighter AB in there and then there's more in the sunbeams. Again more the bit at the beginning and then it takes over with the yellow further on. So that's where most of those are and then 743 is the letter F. So there is some of these more on the tip of each of the sunbeams again more in the neckline and more around the dress this sort of medium color not as much in the lighter one but we did have another ab there so most of this is these other folds oh and here as well seeing f yeah a few different places to find all of those ab's scattered in, scattered throughout, so the painting should really, really sparkle when it's done. But I just think those colours are gorgeous as well. Let's move the 939 because, you know, 939 has its place. 
but it's not always the prettiest. Um, but a real nice array of colours, so you're not going to get bored. <laughs> you're not going to get bored of colours, especially when you get round to adding in some sparkle. So yes, thank you so much to Carrot Art, Carrot Dot Art, for sending me this one um, to let you guys know that it is now live today. Uh, this is one of their new ones. They have a few new ones. So do check it out. There has been a few new ones announced, but this is this is the one that we chose. I say, I think Megan chose it, but it may or may not end up in my stash, to be honest. Uh, but it comes with your diamonds, comes with your sticker sheet, comes with some washi. Um, you, the price of the toolkit has not been charged to you, but you can purchase one if you need one. Um, or it can arrive without a toolkit and help that little bit to save the environment from all those toolkits that we get. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.